I know, I know, I know. I am fully aware that this video is long overdue. Last time we ranked players based off their play style was like two months ago. And you know, you know, that, that's on me. That's on me. But since then, hey, we got a whole lot of new niggas in the family. So after this, go check out, you know, shooting guards and then point guards. And then, you know, wait for power forwards. Or centers. Centers is probably the better option. But today, we're not talking about those positions. We're talking about arguably the most dominant position in basketball. Today, we are talking about small forwards. Once again, as y'all can see, we have a tier list in front of us. And if you look a little closer, you'll see 30 players from each team. Today, I will be ranking these players by their play style. Let me repeat that for the niggas who missed it. We are ranking them based off their play style. This is not a ranking for who's better. If I like the way you dribble, you get points. If I like your shot selection, you get points. If your game is smooth, if it's shifty. Look, bro, if it looks good, it's getting a high rating. And if it doesn't, then it's not. All right, we got it. Does everybody understand? Can we start? I feel like it's pretty fair to start with Tatum. Whose game is nice. Offensively, he could pretty much do it all. Can put the ball on the ground. Pop one in your face easy. Put your bitch ass in the fucking basket. And he plays with a swag yeah. With it. Strictly play style, he's definitely one of my more favorite players. And I feel very comfortable putting him in S tier. Mikal Bridges. Look, I know Cam Johnson is the small forward for the Nets. But that is very boring, and Mikal's true position is small forward, so I'm doing him. Bro, it seems like the Nets traded KD for KD. I knew Mikal was nice, but this? This nigga is hooping. I didn't know he could put the ball on the ground like this. And the three-point celebration is tough, you can't lie. I am very excited to see how his new career on the Nets looks. But yeah, I fuck with his game. I think I'm gonna put it in C. Bitch ass nigga Dylan Brooks. He's not even ass. But he talks like he's good. And picks horrible battles. Not a fan of the nigga at all. But he's not like bottom of the barrel ass. But he's not far from it in E. King J. LeBron's a little special case. Because you honestly could argue like four different tiers for the nigga. It depends how he feels like playing for the night. Is he going to play like an old fucking man? Or is he about to hoop like he got that dog ass? Me personally, I put him at A tier. I'm a big fan of his game. Yeah, he be cringing me out sometimes. But he's an old head. What do you expect? And he's still be fucking these niggas up. So yeah, I got LeBron at A. Gordon Hayward. Not as exciting as he used to be. But you know, he'll have flashes on the rare occasion that he's actually on the court. But even then, you know, it's nothing too crazy. I got him at E tier. Michael Porter Jr. High School legend. Not gonna lie, not the most exciting player anymore. Still pretty good. But you know, it's nothing crazy. I'll probably put him in D. RJ Barrett. My girlfriend, who is a Knicks fan, be having me watch Knicks games. Which means I've seen a fair amount of RJ Barrett. Not that big of a fan, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. This nigga has been in the league for how long and still hasn't gotten adjusted? Like, come on, what are we talking about here? E tier. Kawhi, funny guy, Leonard. Kawhi is so tough, bro. Nigga been hooping out of his mind lately. Great shot selection. Can put his back to the basket. Absolutely be yamming on niggas. Shouldn't have let Westbrook on his team, but hey, hey. They'll learn during the playoffs, man. They'll learn. I'll put Kawhi in A tier. I don't think his play style looks better than Tatum's or the other people that I'm going to put in S tier. But like I said, Kawhi is him. Lori Markinen. Be straight up a beauty. I ain't gonna lie, he damn near has the best dunks this year. I don't know what happened over the offseason, but he's hungry. Just pull! Yeah, nah, this nigga is tough. He can shoot, dribble a little bit, but that nigga can fly. I got him in C. Lou Dort. If this hasn't been clear, which I don't fucking know how it couldn't have been, we are strictly focusing on offensive play style. And as it's known, Lou Dort is a defensive player, but his offense actually isn't that bad. He definitely got a little bag on him. I got him in D. Kyle Kuzma. Look, when this nigga was on the Lakers, it was not looking good. This this nigga did not look like a basketball player to me at all. Not even gonna attempt to beat around the bush. The nigga look ass. But you could tell since coming to Washington, that boy's confidence has boosted. Rightfully so, he's hooping. However, with all that being said, I have him at D tier. His play style isn't the prettiest, but he's playing a lot better. DeAndre Hunter. I have never in my life thought to watch some DeAndre Hunter highlights. But nigga, I like what I'm seeing. Bro, why is this nigga low key tough? Call me casual, whatever. I only paid attention to DeAndre Hunter for like fantasy. But I like his play style a lot. It's Especially the jam. Oh my god, yeah, he's C tier. Buddy! Nothing special for real. I'm just happy to see a pacer, you know? Spot up that could put the ball on the ground when he has to. Not a whole lot of flashy play style going on. Sadly, I'm gonna have to put my boy in E tier. KJ Martin. The pure fucking slasher. I am trying my hardest to find some clips of him not dunking. But it's like... They just don't exist. Just poking everybody. If he sees a lane to the basket, it's going to result in a dunk every time. Which, I mean, is a very exciting play style. I personally like seeing niggas get dunked on. But, like, deadass, it is almost impossible to find a video of this nigga.
scoring outside the paint. But the dunks are fire, so I'll put him in D. Bo Yan, Bo John, Bo Bogdanovich, bro. This is a LA fitness hooper at its finest. He's tough, though. I ain't gonna lie. But his play style, man. Nah. Kind of boring. Spots up a lot. He's slow. Yeah, I don't know, man. We're gonna have to have our first F tier. Keldon, big body Johnson. Again, not one of the most exciting players in the league. But he's decent, you know. I'd say he's a little underrated. Not a lot of thoughts on his play style, though. Gonna slide him to E tier. Franz Wagner. He definitely could hoop. I like his play style a lot. The heads, he's the step back. He could take it to the rim. And I really like his shot selection. He be pulling that bitch. He's definitely gonna end up being tough. I got him comfortably in C tier. Matisse Thibel. Not a whole lot to talk about. Again, we're not looking at defense. Really just spots up. Solid player. But his play style isn't something to be in awe about. Again, at least offensively. So I'ma have to put bro in the F dungeon. Harrison Barnes. God damn, we are in no man's land right now. His game is kind of boring. Back in like Golden State though, when he was booming niggas. Now that's a different story that we are not reading today. The only thing I could really say about Harrison Barnes' game now is that I really like the patience. Besides that, nah, not really much more to like. E tier. Brandon Ingram. B.I. is very tough. I really like his aggressiveness when going to the rim. He is not afraid to yam on a nigga. He be hitting some tough shots. And yeah, just an all around very fun player to watch. And ranking his play style, I'm in between B and A right now. I think I'm gonna go B, but you could definitely argue A. Kyle Anderson. Now this nigga, it has never been so easy to put somebody in F tier. Kyle Anderson probably has like the ugliest game in the league, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how he scores on fucking anybody. If slots could play basketball, Kyle Anderson would be there Michael Jordan. Paving the way for the slowest fucks in the world. So yeah, I got him at F tier. A. Wiggins. For that other side, bitch, you stay winning. Great athleticism. Very fun player to watch. I like his shot selection. He got a decent bag on him. And he was going cool in the finals. Yeah, I like what I see from Wiggins. I got him at B. Tim Hardaway Jr. Wait, he's not ass. He's tough. Definitely could put the ball on the ground. Can pull that bitch. He might not be the best player on the floor, but we're not gonna act like this nigga play style not decent. It's good enough to get him in D tier. Kevin Durant. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on this one, obviously. One of the hardest players to guard. Can pretty much do it all. <coughs> <laughs> Except when on his own team. S tier. If Chris Middleton was four inches taller and more consistent, you'd be looking at KD. His game is so nice. I love the midi face. And he just looks so hard to guard. I would just be so fucking mad if this nigga gave me 30. Like, this does not look like a hooper. But he is, and he's tough as hell. B tier. Jimmy G Buckets. And you know what the G stands for. Jimmy Butler's game is so easy to like. He's a hard worker. Puts his heart out on the floor. And is nice as fuck. Extremely hard to guard come playoff time. And yeah, I really like his game. Pivots well, patient, knows his shot. I got him in B, but he's not far off from A. Scotty Barnes. Alright, bro, I'ma just be real honest. Since he was in high school, I never been the biggest fan of Scotty Barnes' game. He's better in the league than what I thought he was gonna end up being, but he still plays the same style of basketball. Just long and big as shit. Alright, 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 That was unnecessary. But yeah, his play style is alright. I don't think it's nothing special or nothing. So I think I'ma put it in D. Tobias Harris. His play style is cool, nothing crazy. Be moving kinda slow. No spots, tries to get there. I heard he be working during the off season. Nah. E tier. DeMar DeRozan. I might be a little biased because I really like DeMar's game. Anybody who abuses the mid-range, I fuck with. He makes it look so nice. And he'll put you in the basket. Footwork is amazing. Yeah, nah. Definitely a fan of DeMar's game. Got the boy in B tier. Lastly, we got Isaac Okoro. Why I decided to end on Isaac Okoro? I don't know, but I'm not going back. He's pretty athletic, but besides that, you know, nothing else really standing out. So I got him in E tier. And that wraps it up. My ranking for small forwards based off their play style. Wait, do not click off. Don't click off. I got to thank y'all, bro. I just hit 10K today. Yeah. I appreciate all the love. Keep supporting. Keep watching videos, bro. I fuck with y'all, you know? All right, that's enough for the mushy, mushy, lovey, dovey shit. No more mushy shit. No more lovey shit. It's time to kill a beat. I'm on that other shit. I don't owe these niggas nothing, but there's no discussion. I'm a baller for my brother's bitch. Fuck the once and now the bitch in love with it. About to know that make a bitch come with it. Treat her like a test pass, then I'm done. Only difference that I'm having fun with it. Hunt around, chop, pop, drum with it. Trade the top of top one, I'm winning. Highest God every day, I'm sinning. Sad to say I love the way I'm living. Nigga, fuck out the way I'm living. Step to close. And I'ma catch a nigga slip Get the sack every play we bliss 10 to 100k Let's complete the mission Let's complete the mission Let's complete the mission Let's complete the mission Let's complete the mission